Hey, John Cristani here, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to make money on YouTube, and I'm gonna be talking about a number of things, including the requirements you need to make money on YouTube, as well as the methods that you can make money on YouTube, such as ads or merch, etc., and strategies to get people coming to your videos, as well as I'm gonna be going over six bonus content tips that I've learned from years of doing YouTube that can help you create the best content that gets the most views and the most money. So let's get into it. We have a lot of stuff to go over. Excited to share it with you. $100, $200. Oh, hey there. I'm just counting the money I make from YouTube. No, seriously, in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to make money on YouTube. It's one of the best ways to make money because YouTube's always playing your videos so you make money while you sleep. It's a great place to be and it's growing very fast. Now, as I said before, I'm going to be going over the methods that you actually receive money. You can receive it from YouTube. You can receive it from other sources. I'll be going over the strategies for getting people to your videos so that if you don't have any subscribers yet, how you start getting people coming and also be going over the requirements that you need to enable monetization, to enable making money from YouTube itself, although there's other ways you can make money. And I'll be going over at the end, six bonus content tips that'll help you just make the best content and understand what to give YouTube so that you can grow your channel and make the most money and be a full-time YouTuber like me and many other people. So let's get into it. The different ways that you can earn money with YouTube, the most common one is called AdSense. And AdSense are basically the ads that play before, during, and after your videos on YouTube. Roughly speaking, you don't make that much from AdSense, but it can add up to a lot. You know, I make over $20,000 a month from AdSense. Now, the second method you can make money from is merchandising. Now, you can be selling t-shirts. You know, Jake Paul started his own clothing brand called Mavericks. So there's a whole merchanding feature that you can use to sell clothing or items that your audience might be interested in. A lot of YouTubers have been moving into this because this makes a lot more money than AdSense. With AdSense, you can expect anywhere from 0.1 cent to one cent per view, okay? So that's about how much you can expect from AdSense. 0.1 cents, not 0.1, 0.1 cents, a tenth of a penny to a penny per view. Now with merchandise, you can make more because if you're getting 20 bucks, per t-shirt that you sell, you're making a lot more money and all you need to do is sell one t-shirt for every 20,000 views and you're making more money than you would be on AdSense or just in addition to it. The next thing you can sell is your own products. Now, if you have a product or service that you have to sell, let's say you started an energy drink company, right? You formulated your own energy drink or let's say you started your own money gun company. Whatever type of product you sell, you can sell it through your channel. And this is a really good way to make more money than AdSense. But what I found is actually the best way to make money, and you'll see a lot of YouTubers doing this, which is sell other people's products. And that's called affiliate marketing. Let's say we're gonna do a video about how to build a website. Well, it's just natural that I would have a website building company to be an affiliate for their product. So if I'm referring people over to another company, I can make a cut of that profit. Instead of going through all the work of formulating a drink and buying inventory and setting up a business license and hiring employees and warehousing space to create my own product, it's much easier to just recommend somebody else's product and earn 10 to 50% of the profits from selling the product. So that's a much easier way to go about it. Now, if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, check out the videos I have on affiliate marketing. Somewhere in the top, there should be a little bubble that comes up with an additional playlist that you can go to learn how you can start selling other people's products. And also check out my video on the best affiliate networks, which are the best places you can go to find other people's products to sell. Anything on Amazon can be sold as an affiliate. 
Now there's three different strategies to actually get people hearing about your videos. Now, even if you're coming from a big fat zero subscribers, there's gotta be some way to reach people. I'm gonna go over those three strategies right here. Now, the first one is use your own audience. And this is obviously the easiest. If you have people on Twitter or Pinterest or Instagram or Facebook, or even friends or family who you've emailed before. Talk to those people, tell them to subscribe to your channel. That's a great way to just get a first couple subscribers. Talk to your own audience. Now, if you do your internet marketing for a living, you probably have an audience. You probably have people on a Facebook group somewhere or your Facebook profile or something. So you can totally leverage your own audience. But my guess is that if you're like most people, you don't have much of a social following outside of your friends. So if the only people that follow you are your friends, then you can't really grow your channel very large using this method. Now, the second strategy to grow your channel is to do collaborations. If you have friends or if you know other people who are more prominent YouTubers than yourself or even other social networks, do collaborations with them. Produce content for them. This is how a lot of people come up in social media because they have friends who are doing social media marketing or who have audiences and then they just piggyback off of that. Basically, their friend who they do a collaboration with has a much bigger following. They end up getting some of those followers as well. But my guess is if you're like most people, you don't really have a lot of friends who do YouTubing. Both of these methods are gonna be, really are not options for 99.99% .99 of the human population. So that brings us to strategy number three, which is tried, true, and proven. And it's the strategy I've used to grow my channel to over 250,000 subscribers. And I started out with nothing, and that is using keywords. If you're using keywords as the way that you're going to build your channel, if you don't have access to collaborations or whatnot, then there's two things I suggest. You can look through my channel to see exactly how I do this. And I'll also have my editors link to another video that goes over my YouTube strategy step by step by step by step by step. Check out that video. It's called six tips to go from I think beginner to expert on YouTube. But the gist of it is you want to do question based keywords. Okay. Questions. I find that answering questions is one of the easiest ways to actually get ranked and to provide interesting content because what I do is I will find questions around things that I know. And that's the second thing is I look for subjects where I can add value. You always want to add value. So the questions I pick, are just like this. How do you make money on YouTube? This is something I know about. I also look at the other people's videos and I say, okay, I will do a search for this in YouTube and I'll look at the other videos and I'll say, can I do something better than this? Or was this video informative? Did this video help me out figure out everything I need to know on this subject in 15 minutes or less? And if that video was not just super valuable in 15 minutes or less, then I generally figure if I can research something better and do a better video than the other people did, or if I just know more about that subject matter and I can add value on that subject matter, then I do it. Now, this is specifically for teachers, but there's a lot of ways you can do videos. But basically, I found keywords are the easiest way to go after things in YouTube. Now, when I seriously started doing YouTube videos back in 2018, I was putting out a video almost every day. I tried to stay consistent because I remember I watched this one Casey Neistat video when he got, I believe it was a million subscribers on YouTube, or maybe it was 10 million, I forget. But he did a video where he talked about how to get big in YouTube and how to be successful. And I watched it and the, my biggest takeaway was, you know, other than the fact that it was extremely motivating that he just started from using his camera phone was that you have to be consistent. His two words that he left everybody with was upload consistently. And that really stuck with me. He said, just keep uploading. And I said, okay, gotta be stubborn. And I believe stubbornness and focus really 
helps you win. Now, I released videos almost every day for a year and you know what? It didn't work. You know, I was doing videos on stuff I knew and I just couldn't get the freaking code cracked. It just felt like I was wasting a lot of time. I'd keep putting up videos and they'd get a couple views, but I'd get very few subscribers and I never saw that growth curve that I was hoping to get. I even hired a full-time videographer and I rented expensive places. I would take days off from work just to do some YouTube concept, but I couldn't get it working. So I wasted a ton of time, a ton of money, tens of thousands of dollars on equipment, on personnel and employees, etc. And it was just really, really backbreaking. But where I made the big change was in 2019 as I worked with a professional firm and I did exactly what I've been telling you, which is I started really figuring out my niche and I did it around particular keywords that would get me ranking. Just easy keywords that I knew a lot about, that I add value and create an authoritative video about and just give people my knowledge. And it's my belief that everybody has something they're knowledgeable about. You know, maybe it's dealing with your spouse or maybe it's gardening or maybe it's how to carve sticks with a pocket knife or maybe it's how to trap animals or maybe it's fashion. I believe everybody's got some little information, some little special stuff that most people don't know. Everybody's got it somewhere. There isn't a single person I've spoken with that doesn't have something interesting. I've talked to a lot of people and everybody, I'm able to find something interesting, whether it's about their history or their life or their experiences or their skills or something they know about or some hobby, we've all got it. And if you focus on that and you find keywords around that, you can grow a YouTube channel and you can be very successful. But it took me a while to get started in YouTube, over a year where I actually was floundering, not getting any views. But once I started applying these tips, which I've given you, combine these with the keyword based strategy, your channel will explode and you'll be super successful. So without further ado, let's get into these six tips. Now, the first tip is that you want to stick to a particular style of video, okay? Focus on one style. Now, whether you're going to be making music mixes and showing beautiful landscapes, right? You're doing kind of like a melodic trance mixes and landscapes. Stick to that style. Or if you're going to be doing cartoons, animations, stick to that style. If you're just going to be doing vlogging about makeup where you're using your camera phone and you're showing people how you put on makeup, stick to that style. If you're going to be using a whiteboard like I am where I'm training people on one, two, three, four, five tips, etc., stick to that style. If you're going to be doing any number of things, stick to that style. People are going to grow to expect that style of video from you. Maybe it's a new style. Maybe you're doing top 10 lists, you know, 10 most beautiful luxury mansions in the world. Whatever you're talking about, try to stick to a particular style. Don't go from doing a vlog one day to teaching another day to doing some cartoons the next day to doing kind of like a mini documentary the next day. It's going to throw people off and not everybody watches your videos anyway. So stick to that style that you want to start doing. The next suggestion I have for you is in regards to length. Keep it longer than normal. Keep it at least five minutes plus. And the reason why you want to stick to five minutes plus is because you actually make more money from ads. So you get extra ad money if your videos are longer than five minutes, even more after 10 minutes because YouTube puts an extra ad in for every five minutes. If you do 10 or 15 minutes, you get extra ads and you make more money per viewer of your video. Do something that's entertaining though. If it's not going to be entertaining for over five minutes, then it's not worth it. This video is longer than five minutes. Hopefully I've been adding value every step of the way. If you can do that, that's great. An example might be, let's say you have a gun and you know how to clean a gun very well. Show people how to clean a gun very well. And then explain why you're using particular devices. Explain why you're not using other types of devices or oils. Show people everything they can. Just explain more because the more value you add, the more value you will get back. Remember, you get what you give 
So the more value you give, the more you're ultimately gonna get back. So get that length up over five minutes at the very least. Ooh, we're getting into the algorithm here. Every YouTuber talks about the algorithm. What does YouTube like? What don't they like? What titles do I do? What can I do to get higher rankings, more views, more watch time, more results? And understanding what YouTube wants from you is very important. Mr. Beast talked about this in some video, I don't know, I'll point to it maybe, but he did a video with Creator Studio and he said the number one most important thing, and I've seen this myself, is CTR. What the heck is CTR? When you're watching videos, you have the YouTube video player and then you have different little suggested videos that show up in YouTube. Now your CTR is your click through rate. So if YouTube shows your little thumbnail and your title a hundred times and one person clicks on it, that's a bad click through rate. That means not many people are interested in it. Whereas if five or even 10 people out of a hundred click on your little image thumbnail, that means people are in love with it. So that's why I put a lot of focus on making that thumbnail really catchy. Make that headline really interesting. These are two incredibly important things. If people are not interested in the title of your video and they are not interested in seeing what the thumbnail of your video, then it's almost always going to fail. Now, Mr. Beast, which is a YouTuber that has, I believe, 20 some million subscribers on YouTube, talked about when he's concepting out an idea for a video, he almost starts with thinking about what's gonna be a catchy title and what's gonna be a catchy thumbnail. It's part of the very beginning. It's not an afterthought. It's actually one of the beginning inceptions for any video he does. So he might be thinking, oh, if I had a million marbles in my backyard, that would look pretty funny. And he thought of a thumbnail where he's just buried neck deep in marbles. He thought that would be pretty funny and then he created a video to back it up, which gets us to our fourth point. Watch time is my fourth content tip that you need to focus on. We talked about having a good length, but what YouTube really looks at in terms of the algorithm, okay, or what we abbreviate the algo, is they look for how long are people watching your videos. It doesn't matter if your video is 10 hours long, if people are only watching 10 seconds of it. What matters to YouTube is how long are people watching your videos? Because ultimately, what YouTube cares about is how much time people spend on their platform. And if you are creating videos where people wanna spend a lot of time on, then YouTube says, you're helping our business. We want as much watch time as possible. So they'll give you more views, they'll give you more subscribers, they'll give you more money. Now, in order to get watch time that is good, you need to have a video that backs up the title and the thumbnail that you show. Again, you could create a really clickbaity title and a curiosity inducing image that makes people want to click. Let's say you say how to make a million dollars overnight, right? That's a catchy title. Anybody would want to figure out how to make a million dollars overnight. But if you can't back that up with watch time, if you can't actually justify and show people how to make a million dollars overnight and people say, oh, this is hogwash, I'm gonna click off after one or two minutes, of watching this, oh, this is BS, then your watch time is low. And YouTube's gonna say, okay, a lot of people are clicking on this video, but nobody's sticking around. So we're not gonna show this person's video anymore. Now, the fifth content tip I'm gonna leave you with is consistency. So just like Casey Neistat said, just keep uploading. Now, for me, I release videos five days a week, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. every single day for the last year and a half roughly. I've been uploading same time, every day, every week, every month, all the time. And consistency helps a lot with YouTube. YouTube doesn't wanna see people that are just kinda like, I'm gonna put up three videos and see if I become a star. That's not how it works. It takes time, it takes effort. Be prepared to commit for six months. I won't even start YouTube if you aren't gonna be committed for six months. You can get away, upload once a week or once a month, but do it at the same time every week. Same day of the week, every week. And what you do over time, YouTube will reward you. Consistency is so important. Now, another tip to grow your channel if you can't come out with enough content consistently 
lesson is repost other valuable content that you're allowed to. I call that reposting. And I sometimes reuse content that I've shot in the past or what have you, but reposting is a very important thing that can help you grow your channel. If you're scared of making content, you don't want to make your own content, you don't want to show up on camera, right now you're a subscriber to my channel, you can repost any one of my videos. My videos are creative commons, I've set them that way because I believe information should be free. I believe everybody needs to know these ways for making money on the internet. So if you want, you can create a YouTube channel where you literally just repost, download and repost my videos. And if you don't know how to download YouTube videos, just type in Google how to download YouTube videos. You'll find information and feel free to upload them on YouTube. There's another video I have, which is how to make money reposting other people's videos. And I'll link to that in the top of this video so you can learn how to do that. Last but not least is understanding what are the requirements for monetization for AdSense. Now AdSense is a separate component of YouTube and you need at least a thousand subscribers to start making money off of ads. Okay, YouTube's gonna show ads on your videos before you have a thousand subscribers, but in order for you to make money off of it, once again, you need a thousand subscribers or you need 4,000 hours of watch time, okay? So you need watch time or subscribers. Get that, okay? And you'll get that by posting consistently over a long period of time. It sounds like a lot of work, and it is a lot of work. You gotta be prepared to do a lot of work if you want to eventually live free and do no work. Because the way you stay poor and broke is you do the minimal amount of work over your entire life. Whereas if you wanna live rich and free, you're gonna do a lot of work for a short period of time and then your life gets easier. I can take a vacation and my channel will still be putting out $20,000 a month in income for myself and I could just be in another country, I could be in another world, whatever, right? We can go to the moon now. That's pretty cool. I hope this video was informative. If you wanna learn more about how to make money online and how to actually use YouTube and Facebook and other social networks, to put income into your pocket. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell because I do live streams from time to time where I answer people's questions and I look forward to speaking with you. Also make sure you hit that like button if you like this video. And if you have any comments or questions, comment or question below. Look through other people's questions too. If you know the answer, make sure to answer their question because a lot of people are skimming through videos. So if you know the answer to people's questions, please answer them. Again, I get about 2,000 comments and questions and emails a day, so I really don't answer many of them. You know, I maybe answer five out of 2,000 questions a day. So help each other because I'm probably not gonna be responding to comments, but I wanna create a community to help everybody out. And I've created a few communities, they're also down in the links. If you're looking to be an entrepreneur or affiliate marketer and make money online, we have a Reddit community that you can join, a subreddit. We have a Discord channel where you can chat with each other and talk and talk about different subjects related to making money. We also have a Facebook group which you can join called Internet Jet Set as well as a forum which you can join and chat with people on my website about different subjects. So thank you so much for being here and looking forward to seeing you in the next video.